Let's cook together. Baltimore Where's Jacqueline and Anthony? Are they up on the hill again? Boston's playing uh, the Nationals. So then that's an interleague game. I don't know how they end up with that. And they're, they're bad. And Seattle's playing the, the We are at the Apple Orchard and we're waiting to go on a wagon ride. We got, the worst schedule we got our apples. And we're going to go into the bakery and get some donuts. But it seems good. I mean, when they. We are in line to go to the bakery. We're going to pick up some donuts and then we're going to pay for our apples. My kids went into the corn maze with our friends. We're going to be leaving in a little while. We just got off the wagon ride. Inside the bakery. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. We just ordered a half a dozen donuts from the bakery. Now we're going over to register two. Register one. And we're going to pay for them and we're going to head home. This is Let Us Eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to do Cook With Me. We haven't done that in a while. And I have a London broil here. I picked up at ShopRite. And we're going to do it in my crock pot with vegetables. And we're going to do it in my crock pot with lots of vegetables and gravy. And it's going to be a smothered London broil in my crock pot. It takes about eight hours to cook. So you need to start it early in the morning. It's more of a weekend meal, like a Saturday or a Sunday. And because I have a very busy day today, Crock-Pot is perfect for me so I'm not stuck in the kitchen. We're going apple picking after my kids' varsity cross-country meet. And then i got to get ready for the, for the stuff I need for church tomorrow. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. Thank you for everyone who supports me each and every day. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Please click on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell. Don't forget about the two giveaways. Need a few more subscribers for the giveaways. One for new subbies, one for comments, and these are Dollar Tree items. I'll include the picture at the end of this video. And when we hit 600, I'll do another giveaway for a $10 Dollar Tree gift card. One for new subbies and one for comments. If you're new, you must let me know you're new so I know so you qualify. Must be United States residents. Let's get cooking. I'm going to open up the London broil here. My husband took the London broil and cut it right in half. And then we put the other half in the freezer for another time. And we're going to tenderize the lemon broil. Just going to take my potato masher and we're going to smash the lemon broil with it to get it nice and tender. And you're going to do it to both sides. Then we're going to season it with salt, pepper, and garlic and put it into the crock pot. I have my garlic. I'm going to add three teaspoons. Just cover the entire lemon broil. Just a pinch of salt, about a teaspoon. I rarely ever use salt in what I cook with. I am going to with the lemon broil. I'm going to add three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. Now we're going to place it right into the crock pot. Place it in the 
add blended broil right on in. I'm gonna rinse my cutting board. And I have my knife all ready here. Let's go ahead and prep the onion. I always peel the first two layers. My husband doesn't like a lot of onions, so I'm only going to use a half of this onion and set the other half aside for another meal. And if you're new, I cut long, then I cut short. And then I weave back and forth. Go ahead and add the onion in. I'm going to pick out about three potatoes and I'm going to peel them. After I give them a good rinse, and then we're going to cube them. I have my sack of potatoes here. Let's pick out a few. Then we're going to peel them quickly after I rinse them. My oldest doesn't like theirs in gravy, so I think two is going to be plenty for me and my husband with the cubing. Let's just get a little bit of a bigger one here. Perfect. Go ahead and rinse them. have my potato peeler on hand here. Awkward one here. A lot of russet potatoes. my knife. Let's 
cut down a little more there with the peel there. Awkward shapes. That was the closest to the oblong. Now we're going to add these potatoes to the crock pot and then I'm going to pour the gravy on it. Go ahead and add your potatoes. We like to do this around the rims on top of the onions like that. I'll also be putting a little well of water so the potatoes cook. We are all done with the cutting part. I have a jar of beef gravy. I'm going to add the entire jar in. Add on either sides of the lemon oil, a little well of water, about a quarter of a cup, and take your gravy and just dump it on in. You can also use the gravy packets that are available as well. After my kids meet, we are going apple picking at a local farm, which is right across from my kids' high school. It's kind of nice having it right in the neighborhood. We're going to go on a wagon ride. I'm going to take pictures. We're going to have a blast and pick apples and stop in the bakery and pick up some apple cider donuts. Now I'm just going to sprinkle in about a teaspoon of black pepper. And another teaspoon of garlic. No more salt. And I'll show you an aerial view of what this looks like. And then you'll see what it looks like when it comes out of the crock pot eight hours later. Here's what the London broil smothered in gravy looks like. You're going to set your crock pot to low. Cover your lid. And you're going to cook it for eight hours. London broil is all done and we're going to take it out of the crock pot with the potatoes and gravy and I'll show you what it looks on in the plate. I can smell it coming up the stairs after apple picking. Oh, it smelled so good. We're going to plate the London broil. My husband is taking it out of the crock pot and I'll show you what it looks like. That looks awesome. Nice London broil after a day at the farm apple picking and I got to talk to Lori, the owner. Look at that London boy with all the smothered gravy and the potatoes. I cannot wait to dive in to try this. So good. It smelled amazing when I came upstairs. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching me all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed the London broil and how it turned out. And I hope that you can make this for your own family. And the clips from Windy Hill with all the photos. We had a great time apple picking today. The kids ran through the maze. We did a wagon ride. We went through the bakery and we grabbed our apples. I'll be making lots of great treats with these apples. Applesauce, apple muffins. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. And thank you for giving me a chance. Thank you to everyone who watches me every single day. My subscribe guy just popped up. He is asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Please click on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell. And don't forget about the giveaways. And all the information for the giveaways will be in my description box down below.